Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-September 2023 reading for the Zodiac sign of Cancer. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as many of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of September. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message for our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But again, column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close, you have the react, uh, you have the summary affirmation card of reaction. This is always an interesting one, Cancer, when we get this. So this means one of two things. This means potentially maybe we had a really large reaction to something. I don't want to call it an overreaction, um, but it caused a very significant reaction in us. Or there's something that happened that we like haven't even reacted to yet. We haven't had time to process and feel the feels on. So um, probably something pretty significant happening these last few weeks just given the reaction card, something big to, to trigger a reaction, right? But let's take a look at our cards and see what other messages I can give you here. So first up we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of self-defense, feeling like you have to protect yourself or protect yourself against competition. So again, here you are with your one wand and then all these other six wands are kind of coming after you. So um, again, that could have been the response is like responding to having to defend yourself. Or again, maybe you've been so busy defending yourself that you haven't even like been able to process, process feelings of the situation. The next card that we have is the Hangman. The Hangman is kind of a stagnant card. Um, for some of you, I feel like we're kind of stuck in this cycle. We're just kind of hanging here. Again, when we get stuck like this, that doesn't give a lot of uh, time or space to process any feelings or have that reaction that may need to occur. Um, the Hangman though also, yeah, that's all I have for that right now. We'll see what clarifier we get there. And then at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of theft, betrayal, dishonesty. Um, and you see this person gathering their swords, wanting to run away. I feel like you have been kind of stuck in this situation. You just want to get away from it, but you've kind of just been hanging there in the mix of all things. So uh, either would make sense where we had a really big reaction to something like this, or we just haven't had an opportunity to react at all because we're kind of stuck in this place here, Cancer. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries. Uh, we definitely need to set some boundaries here to prevent this from happening again. So if you're still in this moment or you've been able to move past this scenario, either way, definitely some boundaries to prevent this kind of position where we get stuck in again. The next card that we have is the Sun card. The Sun card is a card of material happiness, joy, uh, successful outcomes. I like to see this, so um, I feel like we're going to get over the hill if you haven't already. The grass is greener on the other side. There's a lot of happiness and joy here waiting for you. Again, waiting with that hangman. And at the bottom, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is lost, regret, doubt, feeling unloved grieving, um, lots of low feelings, but again, we've been kind of stuck in this situation, so I'm not surprised to see this, but hopefully with some boundaries, we can move past all this and really get back to that kind of point of joy and happiness there, Cancer. Now let's take a look at our clarifier here, or excuse me, our, our summary affirmation card for our next column, which is what's coming for the remainder of September. We have the card preservation. This is about saving for when we need it. Preserving our words for when they're important. Preserving our energy for the things that are important. Preserving our money for the things that are important to us. So um, keep that top of mind. Where are we saving resources for? We don't want to waste resources here. We want to use it where it's important. 
But let's go ahead and take a look at some cards for this column. First up we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like Prince or Princess Charming, Knight in Shining Armor. Very romantic, very proposal-like. This is a great love card whether you are um, in a relationship or hoping to enter into a relationship. This is a good one. This is also an opportunity card though. So it's like we're saving ourselves for this opportunity. Um, whether it's love or some other sort of opportunity. The next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a card of waiting. So again, we're saving ourselves for something. We're saving our resources for something here. Cancer. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, this is typically a new job, raise, some sort of money news. Again, some sort of opportunity. We're saving ourselves for this opportunity. At the bottom, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion, a card of growth, a card of commerce. Uh, we're waiting for, again, that opportunity, that expansion, that growth to come through. Um, so, interesting cards here. But it's like you know you're waiting with the Preservation card. Uh, let's see what other clarity we can provide here. But I like this. Your you're waiting for this opportunity. You're saving yourself for this opportunity. The first clarifier we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Anytime we have uh, the Eight of Pentacles, this is a card of working hard. It's a card of reaping the benefits of your hard work. It's a card of enjoyment too. So I fully expect with this opportunity, there's going to be a lot of happiness on the other side. Again, with the Nine of Cups, this is like the ideal, the perfect situation. So not surprised to see the enjoyment that you've worked so hard for as well. The next card that we have is the strength card. This is like strength to hold out until the time is right and then courage to move when the time is right here, Cancer. And at the bottom here we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is about wise investments. So again, it makes, it makes sense we're preserving, we're waiting for the right time so we can go all in on this wise investment. Very solid, practical, and wise. So I like this thing that we're preserving ourselves for. I think it'll be worth the wait. It's saying it's a good investment of time, something we'll enjoy. So interesting but nice spread there, Cancer. Taking a look at our next column now, we're going to talk about anything related to money. So a quick money message to kick us off with here. The spirit of money is within you. You are money. You are never without. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. The first card that we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a card. Um, I see you being in a leadership role here with the King of Wands. This is very much so a leader card. Um, there's some power coming through in these next few weeks too. You have a lot of power to make a lot of different moves here right now, Cancer. So you're in a leadership role and you have a lot of power. The next card that we have is the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation. So again, you have the ability to create. You have a lot of power. Um, looking at both of these sitting on their thrones in a position of power. The Empress is also a card of abundance. We like to see that. In this case, you kind of have the abundance of power, but who wouldn't love an abundance of money as well? So like the Empress in our money column. And then at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. Typically, the Ace of Cups is new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, but it does seem like there's a new business relationship coming in. Maybe you're getting a new coworker, a new employee, a new boss. There is a new relationship coming there, though, Cancer. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Hermit. The Hermit's about going within for clarity. It's about doing what feels good at our core. Um, I'm hearing that you need to, like, do the noble thing. <laughs> do the thing for the people. Um, what's best for you might not be best for all of your reports or the people that you're working with. So you kind of need to weigh that. Um, this is like being very honest, having strong morals. Again, what's best for everyone else might not be what's best for you. So we need to kind of weigh that and make sure we're using our power appropriately and accordingly. The next card that we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, again, it's a card of newness. There could be kind of a conflict here, again, because it's like what's good for you and what's good for everybody else, I think, are two different things in this situation here cancer so just keep that in mind however i feel like the empress here the card of creation is saying 
you can come up with something I think that works well for you. But you're kind of torn between two things with, with the Ace of Swords. And at the bottom here we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a heavy communication card, very honest card. Um, so that could be it, is like communicating the two different situations that we're torn between. Um, I feel like communication will be big and satisfying both parties, yourself and those reporting to you or working with you. Okay, taking a look now at our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to love. So a quick love message here. It says balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here, Cancer. First up, we have the Emperor. The Emperor is a very long-term strategic card. So I like this. I think a lot of you are in a really nice, sound, long-term relationship right now. And things are looking good. There's a lot of respect there. Again, it's strategic. It's long-term. The Emperor is also a parenting card. So uh, parenting could be really important in these next few weeks. Or if you're hoping to grow your family cancer, that could also be a good card for you in the sense of fertility. The next card that we have is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, regret, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. Uh, this could be a card of grieving. Unfortunately for some of you, I do think there could be a loss here, so I'm sorry, Cancer, for those of you that do have that loss that you're mourning and grieving. Um, for some of you, though, I feel like you're finding out something that hurts your feelings, though, as well. So it could and that could be the grieving as well. That could be the loss as well. But we'll clarify that a little bit further. And at the bottom here, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very uh, freeing. There's a sense of freedom that comes from this situation. Maybe this person that's lost um, was very sick for a long time. So there's like that sense of freedom. Or maybe this is like finding out news that initially hurts your feelings, but then it's like you're free from that situation, if that makes sense. So let's clarify what other messages we have here. Love the pairing of the Emperor and the Empress together. Of course, such a great relationship pairing when those two are together. Again, echoing the message of good parenting. So parenting will be really important these next few weeks, but also fertility, if that's what you're interested in. But the ability to create, the ability to thrive is really here for those of you in a relationship. The next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a patient card. I feel like we were waiting. We were waiting to see what was going to happen with this person. We were waiting to see what's going to happen with this relationship. Um, you were kind of trying to wait it out. Unfortunately, I don't think it ever came back around in your favor here, Cancer. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. Again, there is like some peace here, some freedom, um, knowing this person is no longer suffering or like wondering what's going to happen with this relationship. We're free from that wonder or like never knowing what's going to be next. So um, lots of different feels there, Cancer. Okay, <clears throat> now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message for our future self or spirit guides. We have a summary affirmation card of context. This is always such an interesting one. What I'm going to say is there's something that you need more context on, Cancer. So you don't have the full story, the full picture, the full understanding here yet. So be looking for more context. Be looking for more information. First up, we have the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is a card of clarity, which is good. We have the context card saying we don't have all the information. We have the Ace of Swords saying information will be coming in. However, I'm hearing it's like information's trickling in. So just be aware of that. Our next card here is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very healing, very nurturing. Um, what I'm hearing is this is like, we kind of have to take it as it comes. We kind of have to be patient wait for it here as you gather the information. Not a standard meeting of this card, but that's just what I'm hearing with the Queen of Cups. She's coming through as very patient, taking it day by day, information by information. At the bottom here, we have the Sun card. The Sun card is a card of material happiness, joyous outcome, 
success. We love to see that. We talked about the sun, so um, maybe the first few weeks of September didn't start great, but we're definitely ending on a much stronger note here with a lot of joy and happiness, so I love to see that. Let's see what other cards I can give you here, though. First up for clarifiers, we have the Ace of Wands. Of course, a card of newness because it's an Ace card. Um, you're going to want to like run with the information you have. The Ace of Wands is like an inspiration card, an action card. So as you get this trickle of information, you're going to want to run with it. But again, I don't know that that's the right thing. We had the Queen of Wands saying like you kind of have to take it day by day. So make sure you have all the context before you just jump forward. The next card that we have is the Justice card. The Justice card is a card that's favorable for you. Um, this is coming through as like a decision though, and we can't make this decision until we have all the information. It's gonna be important too. It's like legal matter, contract, things of the court. Like it's important, it's significant. So again, make sure we're not uh, jumping to conclusions or just running with bits of information. Make sure we have all of the information here. And at the bottom we have the High Priestess. This is a card of secrets, mystery, missing information. So not surprised to see this. Um, so again, just make sure we don't run with the little bits of information. Make sure we have all of the information here, Cancer. Taking a look at our uh, Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck now, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. If you don't have those questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one, we have the Jack of Hearts. This is number four card, or excuse me, the Jack of Hearts, the number 22 card. This is going to be a yes. Question number two is the Nine of Hearts. This is number 16 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the Four of Hearts, the number 17 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes is across the board there for you, Cancer. Taking a look at our Healing Stones deck, we pulled a Crystal of the Month for you earlier this month. You have Adventuring, which is good for meditation, introspective, inner and outer peace, and acting at the right time, which, as we just touched on, seems to be important this month. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Thank you, Cancer, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, uh, that helps me greatly. I did also include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Cancer, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your September.